Hey toy fans, I'm D21 Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And once again, they're here, they're here, Jurassic World Mashers. Come along and join the fun as we review these guys with the tails and the claws. Alright, if you didn't see my first review, there's a little reprise of my Jurassic World Master song I made up for you to the tune of Jurassic Park by John Williams. But as you can see here, we do have a Velociraptor Masher for you guys here today. Now, we took a look at a Velociraptor Masher with my previous review of the Indominus Rex, but this time we've got the single-carded version. But let's go ahead and get things started by taking a look at that packaging. As you come down the front of this box, you do have that Jurassic World logo in the upper right and the name for this dinosaur, the Velociraptor. You do have a window box packaging that does house this dinosaur masher inside, and then off to the left hand side we do have an image of a mashed up dinosaur, and the logo for the toy line, Hero Mashers, there towards the bottom. And as we flip this package around, you've got that Hero Mashers logo there at the top, and then you have an image of this Velociraptor mashed together with some other dinosaurs. And then off to the right you do have an image of some of the dinosaurs available in this wave. Gotta get my hands on one of those Ankylosauruses, I think. Alright guys, that's the packaging. Let's say we get this dino out of the box and see what she's all about. Alright toy fans, so here we have the Velociraptor out of the packaging, and this figure is the exact same sculpt that we saw with the yellow Velociraptor that comes with the Indominus Rex. Unfortunately, I don't have that dinosaur available for, to compare with you guys here today, but take my word for it, after I've held both of these things, they are the exact same sculpt through and through. Now, the yellow Velociraptor actually had some pretty clean and pretty nice paint work. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for the red version. As you can see here, he does have some paint splatter here on the back spike. Uh, he does have some red showing through here on his teeth. It's not completely clean with the white paint, but they did paint the inside of his mouth, so that's still really nice. Uh, he's got some paint here on the eyes, as you can see on both sides. As you come down the dinosaur's body, there's a little bit of paint splatter here on the neck. We have that same JW logo on the hip, just like we saw with the Indominus Rex, and of course harkens back to the old Kenner Jurassic Park line where they had the JP on the hip. And then we have some more paint here on the spikes on the back of the tail, and those are actually done pretty cleanly, as is the diamond here on the back of the Velociraptor. And we've got some paint detail here on the talons on the front of the feet, and on the hands of the dinosaur as well. But we do have a little bit of mispaint paint there on this hand right here. I don't know if that's coming through on my camera. So overall, the paintwork is a little spottier than we got with the yellow Velociraptor, but I still think he looks great, especially from a distance here. And sculpting-wise, this guy looks phenomenal too. He's definitely a stylized, more or cartoon or animated style dinosaur, which is what you'd expect from the Master's toy line, but he does look pretty great. Now, as for the articulation, what we're looking at here is we do have a mouth that's articulated. It will close and open nicely. His head does rotate around on a ball joint. He's got the same rotation here on the arms will rotate all the way around and bend out from the body just like that. He's got forward rotation here at the hip joint as well as a bend here at the knee. Goes back about 90 degrees and comes forward and rotates all the way around. And then on the tail, we've got a ball joint that'll spin all the way around and you can move the tail up and down just like that. So a great range of motion on this guy as well. All right, toy fans, so this Velociraptor Masher doesn't actually come with any accessories. So let's go ahead and mix and match them with some other Masher figures that I've got in my collection. We've got Iceman, Agent Venom, and the Starscream Masher. We can start by pulling off the head on this figure and pulling off the arms. They are a bit tight because he just came out of the packaging. We'll get all of these pieces off here. You can see that there are these just sort of interchangeable ball joints all around the body of the figure, and this is common with the Masher toy line. Now that we've got him completely separated, I want to go ahead and give him Starscream's head because I think that'd be hilarious. And let's give him, oh, this Venom arm because that's just monstrous. And I'm going to go ahead and give him the other Venom arm. Let's see here. Just get that plugged on. So there we go, now he's got sort of a gun and sort of a mutant arm. And let's give him just some really crazy legs. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the Iceman legs. Uh, we're gonna get the hip thighs on there and we'll plug him in on each side. Where's the other leg here? There it is. And just plug that on. And let's go ahead and give him, well, this could be really tricky and I haven't tried this already, so bear with me, but let's go ahead and try to plug the Raptor feet back on and see if we can't get this guy standing. And then finally, we also have the tail spot here. Now I think this will be kind of cool to have the Iceman arm coming off the back, and let's go ahead and give him an ice tail, because why the heck not? So let's go ahead and clear all these masher pieces out of the way, but as you see here, these masher lines allow you to take any other figures in the line, mix and match them, you can make your own superhero, your own dinosaur, your own villain, really whatever you want to do, your imagination's the limit. And the more figures you have in this line, the more fun you can have mixing and matching and creating your own homemade superheroes, villains, or in this case, even a dinosaur. Height-wise, we can see that this Velociraptor masher does stand Right about six and a quarter inches tall. For some size comparison, here we have the Velociraptor Masher compared to the Deadpool Marvel Superhero Masher. Aren't you a hot number? Chink! Ha <laughs> ha! And finally, here he is compared to the six inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. Alright toy fans, well that's my review of the Jurassic World Velociraptor Masher released by Hasbro in 2015. 
Overall, this is a really great master figure and a really great dinosaur toy, frankly. Now, the paintwork is a little bit spotty on this girl, and I am kind of disappointed about that. But other than that, this figure looks really nice. It has a great range of articulation, and it's pretty fun to mash her around with all the other mashers you may have in your collection. You definitely want to check this girl out. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Rawr.